a very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ well once again this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton happy to join you all brothers and sisters all over the world on this day in the month of October 2020 God riches blessing and love to mankind everywhere the children of men the human family who you love in an everlasting and eternal love Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, I was watching a video as, as I normally do with Matt Dundal Dante, my atheist brother from the atheist community and the rest of them in Dallas, Texas. And Matt Dundal Dante was saying on the show, the atheist, after all, I'm reaching out to them in my Christian right and a fellowship, teaching them the truth and pointing them to Jesus Christ. For all of them to renounce atheism and come out of atheism and accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior to be saved. So, Matt Dandal Dalti was saying, according to his worldview, that there is no God. Matt Dandal Dalti worldview is wrong because God exists and God is real and God created the world and created Matt Dandal Dalti and mankind. Matt Dandal Dalti, with his, with his audacity and ridiculousness, is saying that he is better than the Bible. Matt Dandal Dalti, you are not better than the Bible. The Bible is the words of God. And the Bible teaches us to live a holy and a righteous life. And if you are not living a, live a holy and a righteous life as God created us to live, then you are not better than the Bible. But you are saying that you are better than the Bible. Denying that, saying that God doesn't exist. When Psalms 14 said, a fool in his heart said, there is not God, no God, but saying that you is better than the Bible. Madhana let your little Christian brother Eric Braxton teach you something. Because this is a short video. With all the with all the academia that you is. You is a child of academia. You is a bright boy. In spite of all the brightness that you have, you of your own accord cannot write no Bible. You cannot write a book better than the Bible. I am not an adult. You mad than adult. The Eric Braxton is challenging you. With all the education that you have and all the little magical tricks that James and I have teach you that you tend to sweep people off their feet in your magical shoes you cannot write no book better than the Bible Mad Dundal Dalty take this let's take the enough pen and paper and go in a quiet solitude place and you that's on your own put pen to paper and try to write a better book than the Bible, I give you five years and you will not be able to do it, my dear friend. So at the end of the day, you are only fooling yourself. Yes, I am with Braxton, I'm telling you that and I'm giving you that challenge. Are you willing to take up that challenge, my dear friend, to produce a book that is better than the Bible and present it to mankind? And when, when you have produced that book, let the whole world examine that book and examine the Bible. Uh, and let us hear what they will say whether that book is better than the Bible or whether the Bible is better than that book. Are you willing to take up that channel, that channel, that, ch that challenge that I am Braxton are putting to you? Or you rather to sit there in Dallas, Texas on that show and rant and rave? Yeah, because that's exactly what you're doing. You will not be able to produce it, even self will take up that challenge. But put it to the test and see if you will pass it. You think you will pass it, well, you will fail miserably. But still, you could try. You could try. The Bible is the books of all books. Mm -hmm. The books of all books. There's no other book that could be the Bible. It is the world number one household book. And it has been meant in that to record constantly and steadily throughout every day, throughout the century. And it will remain so until Jesus Christ comes. That's the fact of the matter. No one will not change that. Not me, not you. Well, all the people who have lived in the past, I see that they haven't changed it. And I see the new generation that are born in and dying, and them and they are dying too, and they're not changing it. The Bible remains that way. Ah, but you are blind to that. That's why I'm pointing out that fact to you. So, Matt and loyalty, at the end of the day, you are not better than the Bible. Why? Because the Bible is the words of God. They come from God, and God and His word is one. So, how can you be better than God? How can you be better than the words of God? Ah, 
you are challenging God, you know. When you said that you are better than the Bible, you are saying in 